Invasive plants and pests can be tough to control once they are too widespread. But some invasive species cause so much damage that something has to be done. Biocontrol is a way to help control an invasive species using living organisms. In the past, biocontrol may have been seen as risky, likely because in 1883, mongoose were brought to Hawaii by sugar plantations to control rats. But back then, there were no laws to control imports, nor any requirements for testing potential impacts. So over the years, new laws helped make biocontrol safer and more targeted. As an example of how biocontrol is used today, let's look at how a caterpillar can deal with one of Hawaii's worst invasives, Myconia. Myconia is originally from Central America, where it has to compete with other fast-growing tree species. And there are many insects, fungi, and parasites that help to keep Myconia's growth in check. But when Myconia was brought to Hawaii, those organisms didn't come with it. That allowed Myconia trees to dominate and smother Hawaiian forests. Researchers wanted to find a way to reduce Myconia's dominance, so they went back to its home to find insects and parasites that evolved with it. They found a caterpillar and its adult butterfly that were not eating other types of plants, so they brought them to a secure laboratory. They were placed in cages with a range of plants they might come across in Hawaii. They were tested to ensure that they will only eat Myconia and will not survive without it. The Myconia caterpillar passed all these tests, so it's called host-specific. The caterpillar doesn't kill Myconia, but reduces the plant's ability to dominate, which helps the watershed and native species. Since 1975, more than 50 host-specific biocontrols have been reunited with their invasive species hosts, bringing balance without causing impacts to other species. Biocontrol isn't always the solution, but when done right, can provide long-term, cost-effective, and natural control. A biocontrol has even saved our native willy willy trees from extinction. To learn more about biocontrol in Hawaii, visit biocontrolhawaii.org.